Okay, here I am on the outside of the fold and roll. I'm gonna show you a quick look at everything out here. Real quick, up here, I believe this is some sort of loose cable that was put in for the light that's on this other side of this little wall, folding wall. Because I have a two LED lights in there. So I guess that's where it gets its electricity. Um, so here down here is my propane and my, my level, which I got real nice this time, my trailer level. Two propane tanks and a, this is the second battery, battery B or two or whatever it's called. It does have an um, emergency brake switch, which is on a cable. I actually have it connected right here. There's this cable and if that becomes pulled out, becomes disconnected because the trailer's disconnected from the car, it's supposed to magnetically use the drum brakes on the trailer axle. So over here we have the hydraulic motor, which uh, I've only had to add any fluid to one time when we first got this. This is where I keep the fluid. It says hydraulic and jack oil. Has worked well the one time I needed it. Along the inside wall, I believe, are uh, connections for the tow vehicle and all the lights, left turn signal, right turn signal, all that. So if yours aren't working, that's a, probably the place you want to look to see if everything's wired up correctly. And then next to this, or next to the hydraulic lift is the water heater. Um, has worked well for us. Though we don't don't use it every time we go camping. We just don't normally need hot water. But it does work when I do use it. I turn it on to pilot, light the pilot in here, make sure it stays lit, and then it kicks on and heats the water. After, that's of course after I fill the water and turn the pump on. Um, so that's the water heater. Moving over here. Oh yeah, down here is the wheels that I put on. They're 15 inch trailer wheels, which give me a little bit more clearance, which is great. Also, it runs, rides very smoothly. This is an outdoor shower. Uh, again, it, we don't normally use it, but it does work. In fact, since we do a little more camping near the beach in California, we have used it a few times to rinse the kids off, but not often. It's just not, it's kind of an extra thing that we have. Here is the compartment for the toilet, the cassette toilet and it's very easy here you can see the water level which I have kind of low at the moment you can fill or drain I guess fill here on this thing but I fill it from the inside which I'll show you in another video uh, this comes out real easily you just push this down while pulling on the handle and there's another handle on the other side very easy to use dump and then put back on Another one of my projects I'm going to be doing this week is to replace um, that, what is that, a drain valve that's under here? I don't know if you can see it, but mine leaks. It's leaking, so I need to replace that valve. Okay, so that's one side. And then, of course, the wall and the brackets and all that. Uh, moving along to the other side. So you can see there, let me show you all these little compartment doors. The first one is for the refrigerator. And also there's a ground control for the electrical for the whole trailer. There's a ground, oh no, that's next to this, sorry. So this is a fridge control. I don't have to do anything here. Uh, I try to keep it clean, but as long as it's working, I don't necessarily do anything. Uh, next to that, this is the battery compartment. And the a controller so it's plugged in so I keep it on all because this is battery number one in here or a or whatever it is uh, I did have to adjust I mean clean up and reconnect the ground which is here I believe ground terminal uh, wasn't doing so good and that's why our lights inside the trailer were flickering it whenever we would walk around 
but and one of the batteries wasn't uh, working right it wouldn't wasn't being strong enough to raise the roof up like it's supposed to but now it all works so in this one this is the pass-through compartment that we have and this goes to a inside drawer that opens a cubby drawer cupboard and I keep random stuff in here including oh I guess in here includes the the jack handle to put the jacks down the stabilizer jacks which are down right now and all these compartments open with one key except for the the little plastic ones like this one here so this one um i keep a hose a short hose in there it used to have a like a sewer drain like a standard rv sewer drain thing but there's actually nowhere for it to connect to so i don't know why it came with that so i took that out and i put a little hose cut off hose in there this is the water fill area um mine actually is kind of broken this just comes right off it's not supposed to and then that blue pipe that's in there that where you fill the water I have to put the hose all the way in through that into the tank else it will leak but I discovered that the hard way and now I know what to do uh, over here is the water pump and that has worked fine I have no leaks or anything over here somewhere in there you probably can't see it but oh yeah you can that's the tank that's the fresh water tank and when I fill it you can watch the level of the water you can watch it rise up and up higher and higher and it only takes a couple minutes it's not a big tank maybe 30 gallon I'm guessing so those are the compartments um, everything works great I will continue to make more little videos and pictures and everything and share what I know. Ours has a hydraulic jack that goes up and down. This is a, an extended foot that I bought that I put on there so I get a little more ground clearance. Because my driveway is at such an angle, I've had to put a bunch of wood under there. And it's quite an effort to get it off of the car also, but I can do it. And it's worth it. This thing's really fun. So, okay. There you have it. More to come.